Hey YouTube, what's going on? It's Huncho here, back with another video. Today's video is going to be short and sweet. It's something that I've shown in multiple previous videos, but I know a lot of people still don't do it. And this method makes it so you have to do it one time and never have to do it again. So Fortnite has many issues, but a lot of them can be negated by doing this one simple step that the majority of people either don't know about or skip. So the slow way of deleting your Fortnite game file is going into percent local app data going to Fortnite game, saved, config, Windows client, and this is where you find your game user settings. So in this step that I'm gonna show you, if you don't want this to delete, I'll show you what happens if it does delete every time. All you do is right click on it, go to properties and check read only and apply. This is what your home screen will look like if you don't delete your Windows Fortnite game folder. Now when you download this bat file, what we're gonna do is right click on it, edit and now wherever your game is saved when you go to percent local app data so you can do windows run percent local app data percent wherever it brings you here is what we're going to put in the notepad right here so you can right click on this copy address as text this is what it'll look like when you paste so you're going to take this, paste in what it is for yourself. Most likely all you have to do is change the name to whatever your name is. Save it. So then press your Windows key and R again. And we're going to search startup. But because I'm on Windows 7 right now, I have to use shell startup. So when you're at this point, you're going to take that file that you downloaded, edited, and saved, and you're just going to copy and paste, or cut and paste, or move the bat file into your startup. And now every time you start up your PC, it's going to delete your Fortnite game folder like this, where it keeps the folder, but there's no files in it. So if you did not make your game user settings read only, this is what you'll do when you open up your game. Hit decline. Skip this. Skip. Close. Go to your settings. Change your sound mode, sound quality under the audio settings to low. Click apply. And under your video settings, you're going to go to your full screen, 1080p, 240. I change it to epic first, and then you go low for all of these. Turn off motion blur. Turn show FPS on. And click apply. You also know that your Fortnite game files are cleared when your home screen looks like this, instead of with the ship in the background. Just a few added tips for the end of this video. This has to do with crashing in Fortnite. Go to your settings. Turn off all of these preferences, especially the notifications. You can keep auto updates on. And then under friends, social settings, make sure you turn off show notifications. These will cause your game to crash more often than not. Thank you guys for watching. I hope this video helps you out. Peace.